Hello all and welcome to another video and today I'm going to be showing you all the inside cover art and reversible covers that I found in my Xbox 360 collection. Yes I do have other collections but this is the only one that's over 100 games and as my main focus and my main passion in connecting I thought I would just limit it down to that. Now this video is actually inspired by a Metal Jesus Rocks video. I take no credit for this idea. I literally watched its video and probably like many a person around the world started opening all their game cases after after they'd seen that just to see what inside cover art and reversible covers they have that they may not know about so no credit of the idea goes to me it's all his idea but I just wanted to kind of do this as a video response after it basically triggered me and got me intrigued as I say to go through my Xbox 360 collection so I have done a video on my collection recently I have 410 games which is about a third of the library I believe it's somewhere around about the 1200 figure just over 1250 something like that anyway around about that figure so I got 410 of them and I've been through each and every one of those 410 games to see how many of them have some kind of reversible cover or inside cover art and as I say it fascinated me some I knew about which is where we're going to be starting in a minute some that I possibly may have known about but I've forgotten since and some I didn't know about so with that let's go through them all but first before we just get on with the actual inside cover arts and reversible covers just want to bring in my cover for Deadpool here basically I found anything that is printed on the inside of covers but there are quite a few that are like this, which is just a safety sheet and some game information. There's a few of these. I believe they put a lot of this in the later releases for the Xbox 360 as regards to a bigger manual or just a manual at all. So I found a few of these, quite a few of these, but obviously I'm not going to show them all because that is all they are. So with that, let's crack on with the games and we're going to start with actual reversible covers. And as soon as I heard reversible covers, I went straight for this one. This is the one that I knew about. When I picked it up, I clocked it up, clocked it straight away, opened it up, you could not miss it. So the reversible cover on this one, Command and Conquer Red Alert 3. Now, if you open up the game, the manual is printed with that on the front. Is it not one of those manuals that flip up and have another picture on the other side the disc art is obviously the same as well as the other cover art which is this one so let's pull that out and show you this so this is the cover art. now i think this is more the a side i believe going by what i just said about the manual and the disc there which is why i've shown it to you so this is probably the a side as such and the game as it was on the shelf makes sense red alert she's wearing red and obviously this is the other side which i actually flipped around and plumped for i just found her a little bit more Badass, I suppose, with the fact that she's got dual wielding pistols, the more the tank top and camo with a dog behind her. But having said that, that this one's got two bears as well. So they are both great covers, and that is the first reversible cover that's come straight to mind, as I say, as soon as I heard the video and it triggered it off in my in my mind and the fact that I just had to go through them all so I went straight for this one I did then go through them all in alphabetical order but uh, we do have another reversible cover to show you that I knew about now I don't have all of the wrestling games or the 2k games as such I have a few of them I have a handful of them but I had this one now I knew this one had a reversible cover because when I bought it I'm pretty sure it was facing this way round, and I'm just a big fan of the rock so i flipped it round but actually no i think this is the the side that is the alternative because as we see here the rock is on the manual but for some reason this game was actually this way around so i flipped it back round again as such because i wanted to have the rock on the front of mine probably the previous owner of this because i bought it pre-owned was a daniel bryan fan so i think a lot of these wrestling covers 2k games or not a lot but a few of them probably have a reversible cover with the option of having another wrestler on the other side especially if they've got a bit of a limited edition nature about them with a character that is included there we go we've got include the armor warrior on the front of this one is he on the other side that bit no it's not so there we go so that is ww2k40 and its reversible cover next up is one that was brought up in metal jesus videos which actually got brought to my attention i bought this pre-owned and it was this way round and i say it was this way round because i believe the other side as again i'm referring it to being the a side because it was probably the side that it was put on the shelves with but he said that i haven't actually played mass effect 3 that you could create a character and it'd be a man or a woman which is why it is reversible like this so yeah he not only brought this to my attention he actually educated me on that because i haven't got around to playing it yet and as we'll see here we pull the cover out like he said you can have the male character as the front or the female character as the back. So the previous owner of this preferred the female character to be on the front. So there we go. So that was just one that was brought to my attention in Mass Effect 3. Now the last reversible cover, actual possible, and so when I say possible, pro proper reversible cover, I mean it's got 
360 on the front. It's got every rating on there, every manufacturer on there, a proper spine and uh, a proper back to it, which is has like has a sort of a mini try to sell you the game on it. That is what I mean by proper reversible cover. So the last proper reversible cover I didn't actually know about. And I've opened the box up and had the game out of the disc and everything. Now, this is the King of Fighters Deluxe Edition. It's not the Stand Edition. It's the Deluxe Edition. And I picked this up in a cash concept for like 99p. I couldn't grab it quick enough because I love beat-em-ups. love King of Fighters. And this game has a fantastic art style. So this is the, the cover that was on the shelf. And I believe it's probably the primary cover for the Deluxe Edition. Now, I'd imagine if you bought the Standard Edition, it may have reverse cover. I don't know. But this one is a deluxe edition, and basically it has a reverse cover of what I deem to be the cover from the original, the, the non-deluxe edition version of the game. And I say that because I think I have seen it, and it's pretty much similar to that. However, even though it, even if it is the original cover, it does still say deluxe edition on it and have deluxe edition on the spine. So like I say, that is a proper reversible cover. It's got Xbox 360 on it. It has a spine to it and everything is on there and a proper backing to it as well. So that is actually really nice cover art as well. And to pick between the two would be quite difficult. So I'm pretty much just going to leave it on what is considered to be the A side, as I keep referring to with these actual proper reversible covers. So that's another nice one. I really like that one. So yes, it is actually a really tough choice. But like I say, I will go with that. Right, I've got a couple of more games here to show you. Now, I kind of deem these as potentially being reversible covers because they have the name of the game on it. But obviously, a lot of it is missing with regards to the branding and a proper description of the game on the back or something that's trying to sell it to you. And the first one I'm going to bring up that fits that bill is Borderlands 2. Now, Borderlands 2, cracking game. We all know what Borderlands 2 is about. As I say, this is a proper cover. You know, it's got everything on the back as you see it. But what this one has, has a very interesting art style piece on the inside. And there you go. And that is it. But it has the game here on the side. It says, obviously, Borderlands 2. Now, that's very very simple, very plain, but it is exactly you know what you'd expect from a bit of Borderlands. You've got all the characters there in silhouette form, and we've got the Borderlands logo up here as well. So, yeah, that's a really nice, interesting piece, but the only problem is, and I agree with Metal Jesus on this because he brings it up in covers that are like this, nothing written on the spine. So, although it has the game written on the cover, there's nothing written on the spine, and that would absolutely do my OCD and bug me to bits to have that on the shelf with just a plain white spine sitting out. If you're going to have it facing forward then that's another thing but also this would be the front and there's no name on there either but that is nice it's going to say it's always nice when you find something on the inside of the cover rather than just something plain and white now the next game to have its name on the inside cover up and not be a proper cover as such is really caught me by surprise and it is pez 2010 as i say it really caught me by surprise because i own all of the Pez is except for 11, 15, 16, and 18. Now, 11 might have done it as well. 9 doesn't, the one before it. But this actually has some inside cover art. And as I say, it has the game title on it. So it can be used as a cover for the game as such and still have the game name displayed on it. So, you know, it can be, can be used for that. So obviously, this is the proper one with everything on it. And a proper front as well with all the brandings on it. But it's just say it just took me by surprise that they had gone to this. Maybe it's just meant to be seen through the case as a little bit of extra decoration. But there we go, we have the PES 2010 logo on like a football pitch there. And it has the gaming, I say it has the game on it, but again, if you were to reverse this and have it on your shelf, you you kind of have a couple of letters side on there, but no, no real description of the game on the spine which again would absolutely frustrate me so yes that is pez 2010's inside cover art and the only one that i found so far of the franchise but as i say i'm missing four of them but i've checked all the others and all the others are just plain white but it's nice that they've actually again that they've done that i mean it's better than just a plain white inside cover now the next two i'm just going to bring up quickly because they weren't the safety thing that i said you know that I showed you in the deadpool one but they are something and it's a little different and it's making a little bit of an effort so i'm just going to bring test drive unlimited in as i say just whip through this one quickly because it's nothing special you certainly wouldn't want to flip this around because you'd have no idea what racing game it was but you can probably see already as i opened it you look at it on the inside and they've gone to the effort basically of putting all the car manufacturers that you can be within the game so that's just a nice little touch and i said it's decorating the inside artwork and and you'll see it when you're taking out the manual and the disc and all that sort of thing 
ironically enough, that is Test Drive Unlimited. Test Drive Unlimited 2 doesn't actually do it. It's not on there. It's just a plain white insert. But for the first one, they did it. So, again, it's just something. And another one that I'm going to bring in, again, a racing game. And you'll probably know where I'm going with this, with what I've just done with Test Drive Unlimited. Again, this one is an Xbox 360 exclusive as well. You take it out, and everything on there is basically all the brands of cars that you could be in the game. Now, I haven't actually got around to playing this. I played Test Drive Unlimited, but I haven't got around to playing this. So, again, just a nice little touch, something they didn't have to do, but they have done. Maybe, I just thought of this right now, maybe these two games had to do that as part of their licensing agreement. I don't know. I'm just speculating. So, that is nice and something. Right, now, before we go on to proper artwork, there is one more game I'm going to bring in that I found. Now, I've got Top Spin 2, 3, and 4, but Top Spin 2 is the only one that had something on the inside cover art. Now, I'm surprised a lot of games don't don't do this a lot more games don't do this and i'll show you why now obviously there's your inside this is your main cover art there's your front and there's your back with all your brandings on and such it's definitely not a reversible cover that you'd want to use but i'm just surprised that more again that more games don't do this now it's a 2k game top spin two three and four but Top Spin 2 is the only one that has printed some advertisements for their other games and itself i've noticed so they probably printed this across the board. However, I don't have Amp 3 or NBA 2K6 or NHL 2K6 to find and compare. So if you have those games and it's got the same inside cover art, please do go and check and just let us know in the comments. That would be interesting for me to know. I only have Top Spin 2 in the collection at the moment out of them four that are advertised. And obviously it has it. So I would imagine if it's advertising the other three and it has it and it's advertising itself, then it's probably just covering it without having to change the printing for the other games. So yes, just selling other games on its inside cover art. I'm surprised more games do not do it. So there we go. Now we're on to the final pile and there's a few here and these are basically just inside cover arts. I mean, if you were to flip them around, you know, you just have a, a nice picture with no real description or the game is just an image to do with it. And the very first one I found, because all my games are alphabetized after I knew about Command & Conquer, was Afro Samurai. Yes, Afro Samurai has inside cover arts. There is the main cover and there is the main back to it. But uh, you'll, you'll notice on here there's these little bears here. And if you open up the inside, the cover art for the game in this nice artsy black and white style is a lot more of these bears. Now, these bears in game, I believe you collect them and they add health to your character should you have lost some. But I've only played a short period of this game and I have trouble remembering it to a degree. I must admit, I got put off by the camera angles in the game and found it a lot harder to control more than anything than I would, would have liked it to. But anyway, it's going to say they've gone to trouble bit of inside artwork it's going to say it's always appreciated again better than just a bit of plain white covering isn't it and it's quite it's a little bit random that they chose the bears i suppose but i suppose it has a lot of sort of connection to the game so that is why they have gone with that i'm not quite entirely sure what this mysterious figure here is all about so yes inside cover art on afro samurai next up i'm going to pop in the only wrestling game i believe that tna ever made please correct me if i'm wrong it's certainly the only tna game on the 360 obviously you've got a style samoa joker angle on the front that is your front cover art and there is your rear cover art so it was nice that they only made one game for the 360 and they gave us some inside cover art and what have we got here in this one well we've got another very black and white image which you'll just see popped up there and inside we have an action shot and there is Mr. Styles, AJ Styles there, looking like he's putting the boot into Kurt Angle with someone else behind. That looks a little bit like Booker T. I'm not entirely sure. I think he may have had a TNA stint. Again, I'm not quite sure. But again, just nice, interesting cover art and a great little action shot and just a great little bonus inside the game after you have bought it. Okay, next up, this is another one that I had no idea about as well. Probably because I haven't actually got around to playing it, so I haven't opened it. But as I say, even when you do open these, some of these do really skip you by. So in Chronicles of Riddick, Assault on Dark Athena. Again, it's gone for this great artsy style again here. And on this one... As I say, it looks like the, the the main character from Chronicles of Riddick himself and just a very close-up shot of him wearing his shades. And then we've got a reflection of something in the, the shades itself there. And I'm not entirely sure what that is. As I say, I haven't played the game, so I'm not 
familiar with the synopsis of the game and what happens in it. But I'm guessing that is something that is basically out to kill him or something like that. Something that is a threat. But there we go. Again, inside cover up. Fantastic. Okay, next up. This one's a bit battered and beaten up, but I did buy it pre-owned. And it is Juiced to Hot Import Nights. Nice, nice cover art on this one. Anyway, from the outside there, with the with the car and the girl and and a very modern logo there. So yeah, that's your front cover art, and then we've got obviously your rear cover art is there. And then to open it, I'm looking inside. You can see quite a colourful image there. This one hasn't gone for the black and white. Excuse the fact it's a little bit beaten up. As I say, I bought it pre-owned, and this is how I found it. I probably will replace it at some point. But a nice racing action shot there. We've got an orange car there drifting around the corner with a light blue one just starting to drift in chase. So again, nice, nice action shot. Nice piece of inside cover art, and we've just noticed we've got the brandings there with the hot import nights for the game. We've got THQ over there. So again, it's always a nice bonus. So next up, the Duke is making appearance as well. Duke Nukem Forever. Again, I haven't got around to playing this one in my collection and I've had it on the shelf for a while, so I don't know if I've seen this in the past or not. But you open it up and you can see some almost bright oranges there. I don't know, that might be just the green interfering with it a bit. And there we go. In typical, This is a typical Duke Nukem insert, really. Hail to the king. There he is. In his chair, on his throne, his jewel wedding pistols, two girls at, at his feet. So yes, very Duke Nukem that indeed. But again, just a great piece of inside cover and it's Duke Nukem down to a T. Two more games to go and the next one up is Mafia 2, a recent addition to my collection as of only about a month or so ago. Again, there's your cover art, there's your front cover art. Pretty much that is, yeah, delivers what it says there, Mafia, doesn't it, by the looks of that. And there is your rear cover art. So, again, I very true to the Mafia franchise, this, in what the cut inside artwork is. And there we go. Someone has been, obviously, killed as part of a hit, and he's burying someone next to him. There is the guy next to him. So, yes, very Mafia-type inside artwork there. And as I say, just a great, nice little touch to have that there. Again, I keep saying it, but it is just better than a plain white cover. I don't understand why a lot more games don't do this, to be honest with you, because it is just a nice little thing. And as I say, that is just Mafia in an image there, isn't it? <laughs> okay, last game up. And I've had this game for years and years and years. I bought it new, and I didn't know about it. Again, thank you for bringing this to my attention, MJR. It's uh, it's Tekken 6, a game I adore, a franchise adore. And as I say, I bought this from new on my 360. There's your front cover. There is your rear cover. And then on the inside, we have one of the characters, I believe, standing high uh, on the edge of a cliff, I want to say. Perhaps no, not at all. But there we go. We've got Again, they've gone for the grey, black and white, sort of grayscale, black and white sort of inside cover art there. And there we go. I had no idea that this existed and it is beautiful as well. And I didn't include this as possible reversible cover with the game on earlier. And I should have done because I actually forgot, even though I'd only recently looked at it, that Tekken 6 is actually on it. So again, you could actually flip this round, use it as your front cover art. But obviously, if you have it spine out, you're not going to see the game on the spine. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think that was 16 games. I think it was 16 that I counted that I found out of my 410 games that had inside cover art or reversible covers. Some that I knew about, some I didn't know about, some I may have forgotten about. But as I say, full credit for this idea it just goes to Metal Jesus Rocks for that video that I saw and bringing it to my attention. As I say, many a case across the world has probably been opened after watching that video and we're all exploring our inside cover arts. But uh, I've probably got more from other systems. My other systems are below 100. I just wanted to do it on my Xbox 360 because I have the most for that. And it is my main goal and focus for collecting and passion, to be honest with you. So I went through them all. And that, this is what I found. So, ladies and gentlemen, as I say, this has been so much fun to do. It was so much fun to do that I had to share it as well. I really did. Enjoyed it a lot. And, in fact, why not go through your main collection, whatever it is, you know, I have a handful of PS3 games. I'm sure some of those have inside cover art. Just go through them all and see what you can find. Even some of the ones that you cannot see through, as I learned from his video, had cover art, PS2, some DS 
and 3DS games, I believe, as well, even though they've got holes and you can see a little bit through. Just go through your collection and have a look and see what inside cover art you've got. Anyway, I'm waffling on a bit here at the end. This just leaves me now to say thank you very much indeed for watching what has been an absolutely fascinating video, certainly for me. I hope it has had some interest to you. Again, thank you very much for watching. And as always, take care.